this week on the Hoover Boys. I've heard and dug where signals today. Low 50s. Should be a silver quarter. You gonna come watch my silver quarter come? Come and look at it. Ah, oh, just don't jinx me. Show me the show me the shiny. Oh, oh, that sounds amazing. Number one. That's our first big copper today. The there it is. It's a shiny dime. All right. I got one too, bro. Yay! Well, I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of the Hoover Boys. We are uh, metal detecting at a 1830s house. Nice old foggy rainy day. Brad actually got this permission. You eating an iron ring? Oh, that's going to stay with me all day. <laughs> hey, everybody. Good morning. How you doing? Thank you for the invite. Sure. How are you guys doing? Uh, they can't talk back right now. Oh, it's not a live stream. I forgot. That's all I've been doing for the last year. <laughs> <laughs> we got Gary here. Mark's up that way somewhere. Right now, it's us for Andy. Andy's going to meet up with us as well. Yeah, Andrew's coming. So, there's going to be five of us. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a nasty day. The rain is imminent. Just don't know exactly when, so it might be a short hunt. I don't know. Either way, we're wasting time. Let's have some fun trying to save some history. All right. Well, it took a little while, but finally, I got myself... A flat button which is a great sign I mean all we found so far today is clad and little odds and ends and pieces of pipe and stuff but we know it's old here and that's the first piece of it got ourselves a flat button all right Mark I'm gonna show your face <laughs> this is Andy Coop yeah. he's got the coolest find so far some kind of a little bell he's with... been here the least amount of time yeah, the missing dingler that's a very cool little bell yeah, it does have some iron inside. It was either a bell or a candle snuffer, but oh, yeah, I, I do believe it was a bell. Either way, it looks like a cool old find. Neato. Definitely the coolest thing I've seen today. Congratulations. <laughs> Appreciate it. Heck yeah. Let's get more. Hello? Hi. Right. How about a two-piece check-in? Two-piece? Well, two pieces of things. Uh -oh. There's the two-piece. That's a button? Yeah, it's fancy. She's a pretty lady. Yeah. Well, that's some fancy on it. It's probably all gold washed once you fill it up. I'm just gonna like that. Heck yeah. You got some nuts? Hey! Oh, who framed Roger the Rabbit? Hey! <laughs> little Tootsie in the house. Yeah, I got a, I got a Corvette. Uh, this place is uh, virgin esque. But where's, the, where's this stuff? I don't know. The, the ground feels right. Like it doesn't feel like it's been disturbed. There's black staining with my memorials and stuff. But what am I not doing? I don't know. Cool. Let's just get back to it. We're not digging. Let's go. Why does Andy find all the cool stuff? He's just a weird guy like that. <laughs> it, it, you never know what's going to come out of a yard. This is this is really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. You and the weird stuff. <laughs> Check this thing out. <laughs> we are one and the same. Dude. <laughs> it's a bull. Obviously screwed onto the wall. The nose ring is a bottle opener. How freaking cool is that? And it could also be a hat hook or a coat hook. Dude, that is so weird and wild and wonderful. I have no idea how old it might be, but definitely a very unique piece. That is so neat. Hey guys, what are we doing with quarters? What are we doing with them? Taco money. Taco money? State guess. Georgia. New Hampshire. Live free or die. <laughs> Still digging a lot of clad, but I just pulled this out. Unfortunately, it was broken in the hole. Luckily, I found that little stone when it flipped over, but some sort of little piece of Victorian jewelry, maybe. It's neat looking. Is that the J word? Are you uh, creeping up on me? Yeah. Anything down the hill? What is that? I don't know. Screw back earring, maybe? Screw back earring? Yeah, just with the piece busted off. I don't know. The mechanism. Huh. They're having a whole lot, so I'm filming it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a deep coin. Definitely a deep coin. Can't say it's not gonna be a deep memorial, but definitely sounds like a deep coin. I'm back out in the front yard now. I got my flat bud. I think it's gonna be deep in the hole. Yeah, something down there. Now it's getting bigger. Oh, there it is. <laughs> definitely deep. Uh, spoon. <laughs> now how did that get down there? 
this does not look terribly old it's got some fancy this spoon was way too deep for as new as it was so now I'm leaning towards this place has been altered a little bit fancy little spoon but doesn't look that old not a very old spoon well this is a wonderful little old house and I really thought we were gonna do better than what we've been doing but we've been here for a good amount of time with five diggers that know how to dig and all the uh, signs say move on so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna move on hopefully we can find something before it starts raining well we are now at a nice early colonial tavern site and I've, so far I found a weedy and I found a little success manure spreader medallion thing from Syracuse New York but Brad has something let's go over there come here look I'm, I'm looking look, come here if people want to see a beautiful face first. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So oh, fun. it's a skeleton key. Is it from the skeleton period? Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. It's it got right teeth. Out. Yes, it's got some. <sighs> Yay! It's all there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Where'd you go? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Skeletaceous. Is it disintegrating what is there, that, buddy? Pretty what is going game. on there? <laughs> Good for one free game skill award. What do you got? <laughs> what do you got? Let me see. Game token from arcade. Yeah, chunk. Ah, cool. Oh, it's definitely an ah, cool. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Congrats on the skeleton. Thanks, buddy. Apparently, Thanks, Mark decided to give Hogan. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Bring it home to bacon. Is, is that a Christmas ornament or something? Know. Yeah, that or a wind chime. <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like that. He's the grumpy happy looking pig <laughs> congrats Thanks. well this place just had a septic system put in here and see where they tore up all the yard and right here I got a banger as they say got a buckle got me the D out of the deal and they look terribly terribly old but I haven't had a whole lot of older stuff today got me a buckle well just like the first place this ground seems to be disturbed in some areas and uh, not a whole lot of old stuff a lot of clad but this one's a little bit better than the singles I've been digging this ground here looks a little more original let's hope for something old right on a little bush line come on shut it out what's that What's that? Oh, just like that. Silver spoon handle. Oh, it was fancy too. <sighs> I hope I didn't cut it. There's no way I cut that. I'm falsing. Hmm, I hope I didn't cut that. I got a silver spoon handle. I think it's just iron in the hole. We're going to double check. Silver spoon, buddy. Nice, I see. Beautiful. Oh, that's one of those um, steeps, isn't it? Yeah, Probably. It's a pattern. It's heavy. Yeah, late 1800s. Well, I gave it a little shot of the good stuff off camera. And no markings that'd be over here. It is an old break. I did not break it. And it's beautiful. Like Mark just said, probably a steep silver company. No doubt solid sterling silver. Absolutely beautiful pattern. Hopefully the rest of it is close by. We can only try it. It was a beautiful signal if it's here. We'll hear it for sure. You can see where I am in relation to the house. And finally something old that's uh, precious too, some shiny. And definitely take that. Somebody's gonna find something good in this yard, I can feel it. But this little area I'm in right now does not look like it's been disturbed. Hopefully there's some more old stuff close to the house. Yes, this is a day turner. This is it. The rain finally found us. Some, some and now this place is gonna turn on. Either way, we're gonna get soaking wet. You're getting up in there. You don't usually like getting all the way in there. You have anything to say? Uh, sorry. But sorry. You find anything else besides um, your skeleton key? I got a, I got a spoon. I got this right here. It's not as sexy as yours. Whoa. I got a buckle. You allowed to say that? Look, I, it lost its, lost its innards. I got a buckle thing. What's that plate? Aluminium. It's a. It's aluminium. It's a pasty. Use, use that on a coin. Okay. All right, man. Okay? Yeah. 
All right. One of yours. I found round things. Dude, why are you filming those? What's on them? Oh, they're amusement tokens of some sort. Mills Golden Official. What does it say? Something for amusement only. I found them. They're two in one hole. I like them. There's something about the roundness and this they're two like, of them. There's hold, they're hold. Yeah. They're, that means they're old, right? Yeah, they're old. They're definitely <laughs> early 16th century for this site. Yeah. They might be 80 years old, 100 years old. That's cool. There hadn't been a whole lot. I wouldn't throw them back in the bag. Yeah, I'm not going to put them back. I'm going to definitely put them in my treasure sack. Okay. Treasure sack? That's a stretch. Same little nectar sector. Whatever this thing used to be. Apparently there's a shiny coin on this side of the hedgerow where I was going next. Brad or boots? Brad or boots? Boots? Okay. You got it done? I did. Oh, yeah, you did. Is it a bigger? No, it's a little... Look at how hard he rubbed I... on it. Look how hard he rubbed on uh, it. We, we got a little barbage? We got a little barbage? We can't even play one dime. 1911, 911. I bet there's a $1 gold coin under it. I don't know. Mucky, you going to get it out of there? Or... Uh, Brad's going to get it. Brad's going to do it? This is permission. Oh, you're going to do it like that and scratch it all up? Yeah, that's what I do. Ugh, awesome. Finally, uh... an older coin today. Oh, pretty. It's no mint. Beautiful. Oh, we got whip through and stuff, don't we? No mint. We got plenty of natural food falling from the sky, but oh, I almost got it in the frame. This is not my normal camera because it's raining out here. Oh, that's chilly. I like it. You like it? Yeah, a lot. Another cherry dog. Any vintage? Look at that. You're on a. Doesn't look like it. You're on a dime kick. Yeah. Look at that, Barbie. Hey. Nice. You want to kiss that lovely looking lady? Yeah, Do know. I? Yeah. No. <laughs> Strong work, Mark. Oh, thanks. It is not 1911, it's 1913. Close enough. But there is no mintage. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful little coin. Sight for sore eyes. Everybody's coming over to see the Barber Dime. Congratulations. Yo, what do you have? In oh, an in situ weedy. So, I mean, where's the Indians? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not here apparently. Yeah. But we got some shiny. That works. First shiny coin on the day. Good job, bro. Thanks. I've heard and dug where signals today. Low 50s. Should be a silver quarter. Is that right? I'm come to look. You gonna come watch my silver quarter come? Come and look at it. Oh. Just don't jinx me. Show me the show me the shiny. Oh, it's deep. oh that sounds amazing. Number one. Got yourself first big copper today. There it is. It's a shiny dime. All right. I got one too, bro. All right. I have no idea of the variety. Is it Undon? I don't know yet. Oh. We're gonna switch cameras and find out. Oh. Yay! All right. I have not looked at it yet. I have no idea of variety. Oh, come on! I gotta rub that rosy. Oh. <laughs> you just nice. found a freaking barber dime like five feet away. That's all right. You got. You yeah. Away. Yeah. I used the foo. <laughs> uh, 1946. I think it's the first year. Couldn't have been a 45 mark. That's cool. That's all right though. I got me a silver coin. Old rosy dime. I like the signal. I like the signal all the way. Come on. Be a nice old coin, copper or shiny, don't care. Oh no, it's in the plug. It's in the plug. No. Oh, it's still shiny though. <laughs> I got more shiny. That got your attention? That's a Merc, I can tell from here. That's the reverse. It's a Merc? That's the reverse of a Merc. I hope you're right. Hundred dollars. It's a Merc. <laughs> the reverse of the Merc. It's oh man, <laughs> I wasn't even filming in the right, right spot. There. Yay! Nice I kept the foo in my sack that time. I get the foo Merc. Hey, between you and me, Mark, we got a silver trifecta, buddy. Yeah, man. Heck yeah! Now we need to start on the quarter trifecta. Heck yeah. So uh, 1800s tavern site and you're digging mercs? Are you jealous of my merc, bro? I mean... <laughs> There's no mint. A, you smell like sunflower seeds. Yeah, they're delicious. You want a snap? Heck yeah. Uh, 1941. No mint. Philadelphia. Oh no. Sweats. <laughs> rain water's dripping off my hat. Messing up my focal points. But there we go. Got me another shiny. It's actually a beautiful coin. I love the merc down. They're beautiful. Oh, I get to kiss something. 
Oh, you got my favorite flavor. Kiss Liberty. What do you got? You got anything you want to kiss her? Ew. <laughs> I got a, I got a food again. I, I just kissed his thumb. You <laughs> just kissed my kiss. Oh, oh I kissed your kiss. <laughs> Kiss. You don't know what I have. You don't, you're gonna find out. <laughs> Andy is digging in my neck sector on the other side of the bushes, and he's got a cool little token here. Something good and something. Gosh, I wish they had a little more details in this corner so I could read what it said. This side says U.S. something cards, and it's either 18. I think it's 1861. I think it's a Civil War card. I think. Just can't figure out which one it is. Uh, it's, the meat's just not there enough. Probably dry goods? Dry goods and... I don't know. Hopefully I figured it out and put it up on the screen, but... Oh, wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Congratulations. Another cool thing. Gotta dig it all. Yes, sir. Thank you. I see a huddle going on over here. What's happening? Yeah, if you look at this coin right here, you just follow it up the muck and you say, oh, God, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, what in the wide world? There's a copper? He said it sounded like dog dookie. It did. Dog sound, dookie? It sounded really bad. You got a braided hair, I think. How do braided hair sound like dog dookie? It just did. Well, when you're an amateur detectorist Are like you Mr. Muck. sharing more of those? Yeah, of course. All right, let's clean it up a little bit. This is going to be a good looking yard cop. Is there any depth? Not really. Oh, it's down the bottom, but... It had an uh, iron nut with it and a bolt. An iron nut and bolt. Yeah. I can see some iron on it right there. Yeah. Here. Thanks. Clean it up. It's going to be pretty. Yeah. Well, leave it up the muck. He done did it. 1840 braided hair, large scent. Definitely in the hole with a hunk of iron. Nice looking yard copper front and back. You can see where the iron nut was sitting right on the neck of Lady Liberty. You got something? One, two, three, four, five, six coins in the hole. Six oh, coins yeah, in your hole? That's a bit of a spill. <laughs> well, here you go, buddy. Congratulations. Thanks. What, you got a great seal? Yeah, what but the it's heck kind is of a that? push pin or something. Great seal what? push pin. What in the world? I think it's a hat pin or something. Could be. Yeah. Rubber thing, maybe? I'm pretty sure that's an arcade. What do you have here? Count them with me. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Really count with seven. You. Eight, nine. They're all coppers. <laughs> all clad junk. Hey, taco a junk. spill, little buddy. I'm trying to get a taco. You can probably, oh, probably get a there's taco. There's still coming. There's still coming. I, I can't stop pulling them. Have you ever done that with silver there like that go. many? No, maybe three. Yeah, three, I have two three silver four. quarters and a half dollar in a hole years ago. Well, that's fine. Wow. Wow. 87 cents richer. Congratulations. What's up, Muddy Boots? I don't know. I'm muddy Boots. <laughs> muddy Boots just drowned himself. Uh, get a little closer. A sterling silver ring. Unfortunately, it lost its stone. You think it's out more colonial? You're supposed to say something funny there. I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool little ring, but don't have the stone. It is sterling. It's hard to get it in the band. I think Brad smells jewelry. Yes, you do. <laughs> the words of Big Red. Do you smell jewelry? <laughs> you smelt it. There you money. go. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, the hill, because you know he wants to look at. What do you want to see? You it's, need it's, help. it's a little sterling ring. No, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, it's a sterling ring. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's an episode. I don't know how we haven't found one at either one of these properties, but you should have heard him. He's happy about it. He's, he pulled like a vintage Andy. Yay! You haven't found anything. Is it a decent looking one at least? Oh, it's an old one, I can tell. Oh, it's the 70s? I can tell. 60s? 60. 86. 1864. Oh, wow. Is the Elm Ribbon variety? It's so hard to tell. Any more than the house? It's a beautiful emerald green Indian head scent, though. Heck yeah, buddy. Congratulations. First, first. Notable today? <laughs> it's you know, it's here though. We just gotta keep on digging. We got a little bit of time left. In the corner of the property. Yeah, all the way back here. Beautiful place. Who's that over there? Muck. Oh. 
You see something cool come out of the ground? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah. Squeak. Perfect signal. Absolutely perfect. Spigot. Uh, low to mid 50s, which is several quarter type numbers. Wow. It's in the plug. It's a bit more like a silver dime now. I like it though. Seated quad vector. Come on, be shiny. Why is it not that deep? There it is on its side. Where? This? Yeah. Is it a freaking yeah. quad quarter? Yeah. That's in it deeper than that. Why? That's a drummer boy quarter. That's why it sounded so good. Heck yeah, bicentennial. I got something with 1776 on it. Oh, that's a deeper net. Well, we're gonna go over what we found today. The rain's picking up and kinda wouldn't be fun to be completely wet on the ride home. So we're gonna go over what we found today. I love a good hard whelp out of you. Whelp? Well, there's what Brad found. <laughs> I mean, I was here, kinda. We dug some holes. It's gonna be low right next to a Corn and biscuits, biscuits, biscuits and corn. A <laughs> um, whole bunch of random stuff, you know, yard digging stuff. A couple of things from the first site. Um, start with uh, Gary over here. You got most of a spoon, cool little piece of lead. No idea what it says. But he got a compact and he put his Indian inside of it. 1865. Oh, that's beautiful. 1864 Indian. If a huge drop of water hits my screen, it's going to be all over the place. Mark thinks he's got a flag holder soldier. Civil War holder. Flag holder. It's a good thought. You got harmonica reeds and you got a compact. Everybody got, <laughs> you got an ambulance and a tractor. Bunch of just randoms. Who's stuff? Uh, I guess this is all Mark stuff here. You got that pig. It looks like a buckle, and a bunch of taco money. And there are so many dear, weird little tokens at this place. Um, lead soldier. Mark did get a copper braided hair, large scent. Can't see it because of the rain all over it. You got the little hat pin. You got the barber dime. You got a silver ring. Little religious. And a couple other tokens. Bunch of tokens. Brad stuff, we got the skeleton key, spoon, uh, brass wedding, wedding ring, some of my other things. Got some horse tack and a little compact mirror. Look at that freaking taco man, there's a bunch of Wheaties in there. It's disgusting out here, so I'm gonna go through them. Uh, Drummer Boy Quarter, here's my tokens, they're the same tokens. What about that little manure spreader success? Uh, medallion, there's my sobers. Got a... Rosie, a Merc, and was probably a silver spoon, full silver spoon. Very cool. Uh, we worked for it today, and there's the fruits of our labor. How about a hand shot? Just here it is, hand shot. We could probably do that. You ready? <laughs> Why are you giggling? I don't know. <laughs> just sitting out here in the rain, just having fun. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Why, Brad? Because all moles splatter. Because all holes matter. This will do a little little flyby. Oh no, I forgot my favorite find of the day. That's uh <laughs> Andy's bottle opener. Alright, let's get this. Very nice cool. Stuff. Yeah, we're we're gonna give all this stuff to the, the owner. Very cool. Let's do a quick flyby of the very wet things, and we're out of here. You very rarely want to allow to dig anything. No numbers? Oh, you got a bicentennial quarter too? No. It's <laughs> littler than a quarter. You think? Yeah, this is a Barber Dime 1912D. 1912D Barber <laughs> Dime. Listen to this, it's got to have a little D. They got a good looking D on the back of the Barber Dimes. Thank you. I remember you finding one once. What do you got? Is that twisted wire? Not in the plug. 
Down in the hole? Down in the hole. All right, I'm gonna do the straight overhead view. Okay. In case you find something, I'll come down if it's shiny. Yeah, All right, I'll come down. I didn't miss it by much. You know I gotta miss it though. No, you got Wait it. Wait a second. You got wire? Oh, oh no. <laughs> You're still rolling, aren't you? Yeah. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, next hold, call wire. Maybe it'll be a 1912D barber dime. <laughs> 55. Morgan dollar. Half dollar. How about a big old silver? Come on. I see it. And it's whatever this is. Why? Some smashed in pipe. Why? Yeah, so what? Because there's more trash in the ground than treasure. Who's, who's invite was this? Uh, some guy I know. I think your wife got us this permission. <laughs> <laughs>